Hey, I feel like ranting. Um, let's see. Like, I love my PS2 and I loved all the games that I played with it. And my favoriteest game ever, well, my first, well, it wasn't my first. Jack and Dexter was my first game. But my first, like, real cool Sims game was Sims busting out and stuff. And, 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 and. I love it so much. And I'm just upset because my PS3 can't have it. And I pro it probably can. I'm just too dumb to figure it out. Something about backwards compatibility and, you know, your PS2 hardware or something or other. Um, with all that mumbo jumbo because it doesn't click with my head, um, well, that just means I'm never going to play it again because my PS2 is gone. Buried it in the backyard. Gave it a proper ceremony. Okay, that's a lie. I wish I did, but I don't know where it is because my sister is like... It's, um, it's, uh, it's bad. It was like, <laughs> we're not going to make that analogy. It was, um, I got to come up with a cleaner analogy. Um, it was really bad. Like, I just, I don't want to let go. It was, oh God, it was just so bad. I, it was just broken. It's got the disc tray. It doesn't close. It's like ripped apart because when it died, it had Sims 2 pets in it. So I just like. Oh my god, I have to get this out. Because it's not even my game, it was Shannon's. So, it's all ripped apart, doesn't close, doesn't work. It's all sad. And I, I, I love The Sims, but Sims Busted Out was like my favorite game, and I just want it for the PS3. You know, there are certain things I like about the PS2 more than the PS3. I like the startup sound. It was just like really cool. I'm gonna try and imitate it. It was like Rah! awesome. It sounded exactly like that. Okay, if you have a PS2, you know what I'm talking about. It was like that cool whooshy sound. It was like badass and whatnot. The PS3's just not really. Yeah. So you can get a 3D background. I'd rather have the cool whooshy noises, and my Sims busting out. But I'm happy because I do have a PS2 game for my uh, PS3. It's Primal. Woohoo. We got Primal. Let's hope I beat it this time. I never got to beat it because my PlayStation gave out. So I'm having about the same time I did about how many years ago? I'd like to say maybe five, six. A million feels like a million um yeah I'm still it, there are obviously parts you're gonna remember but there's parts where I'm just like where do I go why am I here why does that thing want to rape me oh god oh god it's giving me the eye oh maybe if I just run away it'll go oh my god there's more it's it's just like this never-ending cycle I'm never gonna get it when things attack you, you just gotta face it head on. Damn. Um, yeah, my first my first Sims experience was with um, my friend Rachel. We go up to her aunt's house and play Sims on the computer, but uh, that's Sims computer. I'm more of a Sims console kind of person. A lot of people I know are like. Dude, the computer games are better. And I was just like, I grew up learning the console version first, so that's what I'm used to. So my first Sims console was busting out, which was my friend Jessica's who brought it to Rachel's house. And boy, the family we made. Jessica was the goth chick because she was actually goth at the time. I don't know what she is now. I know she's still awesome, but I don't know if she's goth anymore. I can't remember what Rachel was. Hers are always like very sophisticated. She always makes really cool sims. Are always like, bam, look at me. I'm too good and sophisticated. I breathe elegance. And mine is just, you know, every time I make a sim, I always have to 
pick every color because I can't decide. So I was kind of just like that weird crazy one, right? And we're like living in this weird house all together. And we're just kind of like, you know, setting shit on fire. Deleting doors. Having the babies with the one guy. I think there was only one guy. I think there was some cheating in the house. <laughs> but yeah, like after I played that game, I was like, I have to have this. I have a PS2. Why don't I have this game? So I was like, being a whiny brow, I was like, Mom, take me to Target. Actually, I don't even know if it was Target. It might have been Best Buy or GameStop. Man, I'm not good with this memory thing. But, um, yeah, after I got it, I was just like, I gotta play this. And it was funny. Because Shannon didn't warm up to it initially. She was just all like, he looks stupid. And I was like, yeah, wait until you play it. You're basically God. And she played it. She's just like, this is so cool. And she said the same thing about Guitar Hero. She just needs to trust me when it comes to games. Um, yeah, I'm just upset because I want to play it really, really bad because I've been having, like, my PS2 nostalgia crap going on. I'm just like, I miss this game. Like, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. The Mummy. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. That was a good game. Never beat it. The disc skipped, so that didn't really help. It would, like, freeze and it'd be like, and, like, just, like, total crap the bed. And then Sims Bustin' Out was way up there. I had Primal. I stole my dad's SOCOM a couple times. I had ATV Off-Road Fury. Fury. Off-Road something. I can't remember. Uh, what else was there that we used to play? Crash. Nitro Car. I, was I can't talk. Crash Bandicoot. I had Pac-Man. But... I have that on the Cassidy, the original Xbox. Hmm. My gamer console family, it's so lovely. Cassidy, Frederick, and Soundwave. Awesome. Soundwave sticks out, but you know. It's right, I'm talking about you, honey. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my only real rant about the PS3 and the PS2. I mean, they're they're both really amazing consoles. I mean, with everything, you're going to have your flaws and you're going to have your pros and cons about everything, but that's basically it. I mean, I could figure out how to play it. And I looked on the PlayStation Plus and I looked on the network and I Googled it and it's just like, uh, there's no hope for me. So, it kind of sucks. But, what can you do? Um, actually, if you do know what to do, post a comment because if there is hope for me getting any PS2 game for my PS3, please, for the love of God, let me know. Um, any other questions, comments, concerns, or your own rant about any system, post it right down here. I will leave my Twitter in the description. Um, yeah, video responses are also welcome. You guys leave lots of messages for me and I type them back and we have fun, we have fun little conversations. Yeah, so, um, thank you, I will see you guys later, and, Whoa. sorry, I had to give you hearts. Bye!